All right, so let's learn how to make frequency tables, relative frequency tables, bar graphs, and pie charts using Google Sheets. So let's look at our data set first of all. I have a data set. Um, let's just say that this was a survey of different people and what their favorite breed of dog was. Now I don't care about their names because all I want to do is make a frequency table of the favorite dog breeds. How am I going to do that? Well, okay, first of all, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to skip a column to give myself some space. And I'm just going to write dog breed. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write frequency. So dog breed and frequency. I'm going to give myself some room. I'm also going to make these tables align to the middle. Usually it looks nicer when you do that. Okay, so I see that the first breed of dog that was put in was Doberman. Now it's really important to be paying attention here because if you have the same answer that spelled different ways or written different ways, the computer is going to treat them as different answers. For example, here we have Pugarino and here we have a Pug, and those are the same type of dog. So I'm going to come here and just manually rewrite to the official name, which is of course Pugarino. So then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take a look at our dog breed. So we have a Doberman, uh, we have a German Shepherd, we have a Poodle, a Golden Retriever, Hound Dog. We're just going to put all of these in there. To make sure I spell it right, you might want to copy and paste instead because that way there's no way to make a spelling error. Of course, you also want to make sure you're not getting duplicates and you want to make sure that you're not missing any of the categories. There are some tricks for how to do that, but for now, just try to be careful. All right, now we're going to learn a formula. So to, I'm going to click next to Doberman and to start a formula you put in the equal sign. So we're starting a formula and the formula we want to use is called count if. Count if right there. And now we make a parentheses and we need to put in two pieces of information. We need to first put in where we are counting. And where we're counting is this. So I'm just going to click here and drag it all the way down, all the way down. Notice that there's a missing, one person didn't put in a dog breed. There's a missing space. No big deal. doesn't matter. That doesn't ruin anything. Don't worry about it. Just leave it blank. Um, also, it doesn't matter if someone forgot to capitalize Doberman. The computer doesn't care whether it's capital or lowercase letters but you do need everything spelled exactly the same. For example, if someone misspelled Golden Retriever, you have to correct the spelling before you start. Back to our formula. We write count if, and you can either type your, so I can either click and drag to get this range, or I could just say, I could type it. I could say, I want you to get everything from cell B2 um, all the way down to B45. And you know a trick is you don't even need to go all the way down to B45. You could just say B2 to B. And that means it's going to get all of the Bs after B2. So that's helpful. There's one more thing I want to do here, which is I want to, because I always want to start at B2, I never want to start at B3 or B4. 
I'm going to put a dollar sign right there. That tells the computer to stick with row 2 and never move off of it. You'll see why that matters later. All right, so I've put in my range, B2 and all the way down. Now I put in a comma, which says that we're going on to the next piece of information. And the next piece of information is what we're counting. Now, the simple way to do this is I could type in Doberman. But there's actually a better way to do it, and that is to simply put in, click on the cell where Doberman exists. Oh, I can't see it, so I'll just type it. It's D2. So now what I'm telling the computer to do is to check the range of cells from B2 all the way down and see if any of them match what's in cell D2. And of course, cell D2 is Doberman. So the computer returns, okay, you've got four. There are four Dobermans. All right, and rather than type this out over and over again, remember, take a look. This is count if, it is your friend. I'm just gonna click and drag all the way down. And now, so you see this one says count if, B2 to B, D2, so it's counting Dobermans. This one says count if B2 to B, D3, so it's counting German Shepherds. This one's going to count the Poodles, this one will count Golden Retrievers, and so on and so forth. As you drag it down, the computer will automatically adjust your D2 to D3 to D4 to D5. Incidentally, that is why it was important to put a, a dollar sign here, because if we didn't, then this 2 would also change to 3, 4, and 5. The dollar sign tells the computer to keep it there and don't move it. All right, that's how we make a frequency table.